بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم the topic of uh, today is uh, the base access and uh, the standard base access so let's first uh, when before we talk about base access uh, the pH as you know it is the net results of uh, the concentrations of bicarbonate and partial pressure of carbon dioxide so the partial pressure of carbon dioxide has a share in the pH value and the bicarbonate has a share in the pH value. Simply, change in the partial pressure of carbon dioxide will affect the pH. Change in the bicarbonate will affect the pH. A question came, came up, why, what will happen if the P partial pressure of carbon dioxide returned back to the normal, which is 40? This means that if there is still change in the pH, for sure this will be the result of bicarbonate change. Imagine that the uh, partial pressure of carbon dioxide became restored mathematically to 40 and its impact on the pH has been corrected and still the pH is high. This means that the bicarbonate is high, so there is base excess. And also the reverse. If the partial pressure of carbon dioxide returned back to normal, which is 40, and the pH is still low, less than 7.4. So this difference is due to the fact or deficiency of uh, the bicarbonate, and this in this case it's co it is called the uh, base deficit. So look at uh, this. This is the definition. What we have mentioned before, base excess specifies the number of metal equivalent uh, of acid or base that are needed to titrate one liter of blood to pH 7.4 at 37 degrees centigrade while the pH is held constant at 40 millimeter mercury. So what we do is we correct the partial pressure back to 40 and see is it the pH the same or less or more. So less or more this will be due to bicarbonate. How to calculate the symbol one? Usually it is written in the chart of the ABG, but we have to know it. How to calculate that? If the pH of this symbol has a pH of 7.24 and the partial pH of carbon dioxide in 28, hemoglobin is 15 gram per cell. If, if we calculate the partial pH of carbon dioxide this 28, I want to restore it, to return it back to the normal, which is 40. So the difference will be 12. And there is a golden rule the 10 millimeter mercury change of uh, the partial pH of carbon dioxide will have 0.08 change in the pH. So in this case, uh, this uh, increase, this uh, wash out, this uh, this uh, restoration of carbon dioxide will be an increase in the carbon dioxide, and this will make a drop in the pH. So this 12 will make about uh, 0 .09 or say 0.1. This is a 0 0.1, 0 0.1 drop in the pH. If we return back with carbon dioxide, of carbon dioxide we, we, we will accumulate carbon dioxide instead of being 28, it will be 40. This will make a drop in the pH, and the pH will be, in this case, uh, about 7.14 instead of 7.21. So this 7.14 in the pH when the partial pH of carbon dioxide is 40. So the difference between 7.14 and 7.4, which is uh, 0.26, is due to deficiency, a loss of uh, bicarbonate. How much? We have a rule. 10 millimeter, 10 milli equivalent uh, of bicarbonate uh, 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 make a change of 0.15 in the pH. So this is the uh, this means that the bicarbonate of base deficit in this case will be 10 multiplied by 0.26 over 0.15 to give you 17 mL equivalent per liter. So we have a base deficit of 17 mL mill equivalent of bicarbonate. This is very important, especially if you are calculating, if you want to calculate how much is the base deficit in order to give the patient, say, bicarbonate. This is another story but uh, we uh, we should take care uh, what we are dealing with patients uh, how severe the acidosis how severe the alkalosis this gives you a quantity how much uh, bicarbonate uh, is lost uh, or how much bicarbonate is more in case of alkalosis and this uh, gives you the, the value of the problem 
Another symbol also at the, the base excess equals the standard bicarbonate, which is 24 mL equivalent per liter, minus the actual bicarbonate when the pH is normal. Symbol. If you follow the same, the previous, uh, the previous rules, uh, we'll, we'll find it uh, true. Say if the patient uh, with pH 7.35, this is close to the normal normal. Bicarbonate is 14, and partial pressure of carbon dioxide is 28. According to this uh, formula, so the basic excess will be 24 minus, minus 14 equals 10. How does it come? So this is, uh, again, if we come back with the carbon dioxide, which the store carbon dioxide to 40, carbon dioxide is the store to 40, this means that uh, the pH will drop by 0.1. So this pH will drop uh, from 7.35 to 7.25. 7.25 is away from 7.4 by 15 by, by 0 0.5, by 15. So this means that uh, according to the formula, a 10 mL equivalent uh, a change of, bi um, of bicarbonate will make change in the pH 0.15. So this uh, means that uh, the basic says, uh, in this case uh, is uh, minus 10 or the base deficit is 10 mL equivalent. And so you can apply this formula or resume the same uh, uh, calculations in order to know how much basic excess or basic deficit is uh, present. Then we come to the standard base excess. They came to the fact that uh, when we measure the pH or the bicarbonate or the basic excess, this is out of the blood, or not, we, we do not include the hemoglobin, which is a large one, a large buffer, which will and at the same time, we do not include the extracellular volume, the extent the change. But here, when you look at it, you will find that uh, this is uh, the standard basic excess. It is the basis which, uh, which is meant to measure the basic excess or deficit for the extracellular fl fluids, including the hemoglobin. And the hemoglobin, in this case, uh, the, will be considered as uh, 50 or 5 gram percent or 50 gram per liter. This means that the approximate mean extracellular hemoglobin concentrations, hemoglobin in the, in the total extracellular volume, which is 14 liters instead of uh, 3 liters. So this is uh, that's why they came to the form this formula to measure the standard basic excess, which is normally about a minus or plus 3 mL equivalent per liter. Right? The hemoglobin here is uh, in the blood is, is expressed in millimole in this formula. So the base excess uh, of the extracellular fluid is called the standard base excess. This including the extracellular fluid, the plasma, the cells, and the surrounding interstitial tissues. In most laboratories, the reference range of standard base excess is approximately minus 3 millimol per liter to plus 3 millimoles per liter. And they found that there is no big differences between the base excess and the standard base excess, and usually the difference is small. This is the formula we, we usually calculated, we have mentioned before. We have a good, an, a good example. If the pH uh, and the partial pH of carbon dioxide and the standard base excess, all of them, they are elevated. First, we have before... Before we, did, we discuss any IBG, we should know the clinical state of the patient. From this uh, value, we'll find that uh, there is increase in the pH, increase in the partial pH of carbon dioxide, and the increase in standard base uh, excess. Uh, this means that there is a primary process of metabolic alkalosis. Because carbon dioxide don't increase, there should be a with decrease in the pH, but there is increase in the pH, so this is uh, a metabolic alkalosis. And this metabolic alkalosis, uh, the standard basic excess, will tell you how much or how much the, val the value of uh, this uh, uh, alkalosis or this bicarbonate in, in more than the, the normal. But the question comes again, at this partial uh, pH of carbon dioxide, compensatory or not compensatory, we can know it by different methods. But in this case, uh, simply, you will take this formula. This is a partial pH of carbon dioxide, will 40, plus uh, 0.6 uh, multiplied by the standard base excess. If this value is the same like this partial pH of carbon dioxide, this means compensatory. If this uh, carbon dioxide is more than this value, this means that uh, we are facing a problem which is not simple metabolic al uh, alkalosis. It is associated with uh, higher carbon dioxide respiratory acidosis. So this is uh, a problem. So, or, or 
If it is less than this, this is uh, mean that uh, it is not simple, this is uh, some sort of respiratory alkalosis. By the standard, so the standard based excess uh, will give us a clue how much the metabolic alkalosis or the metabolic acidosis is present, and at the same time, from it, you can, if you, if you use this formula, you can see is it compensatory or not compensatory for the partial pressure of carbon dioxide. So, base excess and the standard base excess uh, uh, tells you how much bicarbonate uh, lost or in excess. Uh, in order to define the uh, uh, the magnitude of the problem, at the same time, how much you resuscitate the patient if you are giving, uh, if you are going to give uh, some sort of bicarbonate. Thank you.